Still cooking some chicken for uh for um tacos. Shredded chicken tacos. All right, I was gonna check this video out. I think I might have seen this video uh before. Cause I know I think I think I saw Summit's reaction video to this. This is four months old, but it might have been a different one. Uh From deleting your entire game to forcing you to play in your underwear, these are 15 games that humiliate you for cheating. If you're playing any game and find a way to cheat, you're likely going to try it out. But in this South Park game, the devs had completely prepared for it. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think I saw this one. I remember watching the one with Summit where he was watching um, the dude that had uh, the people who were cheating, who were looking for the cheats. I think we, I think we watched that one before. The people who were looking for cheats, they were downloading this thing that wasn't a cheat but it was a thing that made you like like kill yourself in game or like um uh, i don't know like like throw like you, you would toss a grenade or whatever like it was just a bunch of stupid stuff but it was only in cs Passcode to get into Cartman's secret basement. But if you Google the answer to cheat your way in, he'll appear and start roasting you for cheating. Okay, mm -hmm. so I guess you just wanted Tom Brady your way through the whole game. What's the matter? Can't do it on your own? Yo! <laughs> Entering a simple code changed the game. Because in Banjo Kazooie, they take punishing cheaters to a whole new level. Within the game, there's various codes you could use, from increasing items to opening entire areas early. Now, you might have wanted to use these cheats if you were stuck on a level. However, Gruntilda would only take so much. Doing it once or twice is fine, but dare to use it a third time, and bottles will appear warning you against cheating again. If you hey, ignore listen. the message, Gruntilda will appear and delete your entire save file. It That's wild! joke but the next time you try to save you watch as the game fades away with the witch's cackling laugh they wouldn't they wouldn't actually do that there's no way it probably and if that wasn't enough you even see the game over cutscene with gruntilda celebrating your deleted save and once you return to the menu you'll even find all of your progress wiped starting all over ain't no way why would they do that like why would they Put the cheat in the game, right? Why would they put the cheat in the game and then script this whole thing and then delete your save file? Like, it's not like you use the game shark to do it. They put the cheat in the game. <laughs> Again is a huge punishment, but what about not letting you play the game at all? If you try to cheat the devs by pirating this game, mirrors. Okay, pirating, pirating is, pirating is valid. Like if you if you pirate the game and you download a pirated version of the game, you don't have a license for it, and they do something for that, then I can understand. I can understand that is that is great and a, and a wonderful way to like stop pirating or whatever for for you for your game or whatever. Like I remember, um, what was it? What other? I forget what other game there was, but just as, as talking about like deleting save files, Animal Crossing would do the same thing, but they would they would. They would say they did, but they didn't really. It was like a trick to be like, yeah, but don't turn your system off without saving or whatever. Because if you do it, then you could corrupt your save file and you'll lose your save file or whatever. Like, it's like a warning against cutting the game off without saving. Here's Edge has a surprise waiting for you. The game loads up perfectly fine and seems normal until you realize you're moving incredibly slow, making it impossible to complete even the first jump. I got <laughs> such a clever way to mess with cheaters. And the creators of RuneScape took messing with a cheater even further. If anyone in the game was cheating, instead of banning them on the spot, the devs decided to make an entire event out of it. If the anti-cheat detects a player is hacked three times, you'd be sentenced to an island called Botany Bay. A crowd of other players are alerted and could even attend a trial for the cheater with the bot finder general giving a hilarious speech that's crazy as exactly the kind of person who would use a bot to get what they want once he finishes up all the players watching are then able to vote on the way the hacker will get banned they give you three choices ranging from being crushed eaten and even disintegrated by the gods all of that in front of an entire server humiliating you for cheating before getting permanently banned forever you love to that's see it crazy in runescape affects other that's really players. cool even some single player games have their own special way of dealing with cheaters in the legend of zelda link's awakening 
you're able to enter shops to purchase items, but you could actually steal them instead. Once you pick up an item, if you head towards the door, you're warned against exiting without paying. But if you decide to leave stealing the item, the game will immediately shame you for it. Not only that, but from then on, your character is completely renamed to Thief. And every single interaction for the rest of the game will make you feel more and more guilty. And it doesn't stop there. After you ignored the first warning, you aren't given a second chance. If you return to the shop to buy something else, the shopkeeper will instead summon a bolt of lightning and straight up kill you. This same thing <laughs> happened in the original, and I'm so happy the devs kept it in the remake. I think I, I think this happened to me before in the old game on Game Boy. It's game that punishes hackers publicly and makes a mini event out of it. If a player was ever caught cheating or breaking the rules in any way, the Grim Reaper would suddenly emerge and execute them on the spot. Players would <laughs> randomly see this unique event occur right in front of them, causing so much hype in the chat whenever a hacker got that ban they deserve. But the community isn't the only thing mocking cheaters. Sometimes even the in-game characters do it. In Metal Gear Solid, there's a scene where Ocelot is holding you hostage strapped to an electrical machine. Now you have to save Snake by mashing a button as fast as you can to survive. However, some players might try to cheat their way through this. By using a modded controller, you can have the button auto-fire and do all the... First of all, you don't need a modded controller. You don't, you don't need a modded controller for that. You just have a controller that has auto fire on it. You just turn the switch on. Like all the arcade sticks have auto fire on it. <laughs> you, but the devs were already one step ahead because Ocelot says this. Don't even think about using auto fire. And if you decide to ignore his warning, you'll find out he wasn't lying. The game will actually disregard all input from the modded control. It's probably it's probably because they they put it in there in a way where if you press the button a, a certain speed, like a certain amount of times, they probably like found out like what the auto fire like rate of fire is. And if you and if you enter that rate of fire that fast and that that consistently, then like they it recognizes it as like auto fire and then like stops. Uh, taking the like information from the controller it just probably just stops and just doesn't let them like press the button anymore or something allowing the machine to just straight up kill you now <laughs> auto fire may seem like a simple cheat but it's nothing compared to a game shark in older games a game shark was used to add cheat codes to practically any game but the devs of donkey kong 64 made it so that if you tried to use a game shark while playing it would just glitch out uncontrollably from not being able to collect any items to instantly dying nothing was worse than dk constantly spamming the bongos every few seconds to make that worse if you saved it any point while you had the game shark loaded the forced glitches would save with it literally breaking your game forever but sometimes the cheats are down to the game itself in the witcher 3 players were making the most out of a field where cows would constantly respawn to sell their leather and make money from it this basically created an infinite money glitch cd project red discovered the exploit and released a patch called the bovine defense force initiative making a nearly unkillable enemy spawn whenever you farm too many cows suddenly <laughs> would running at you out of nowhere and you'd be forced to leave or fight this insanely OP monster. And later on in the game, you can even find a tax man who asks you if you've been farming cows as a reference to this exploit. Have you at any time engaged in the wholesale trade of rawhide in the White Orchard area? But for a cheat that everyone knows, we gotta talk about the Konami code. The game company has added this into so many of their games over the years, leaving yep. players to try Best it out in the game. a new one releases. So when Silent Hill 3 came out, players who attempted to use Best the knife in the game would instead be met with a much different result. After entering up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, one of the main characters, Detective Douglas, will suddenly be wearing boxers for the rest of the game. Instead of humiliating <laughs> you for attempting to cheat, the game creates this embarrassing scene every Every time you see him and this just completely changes the entire context of every interaction heretic is a first that's not a cheat that's an easter that egg the same engine as doom but that meant that it also carried over some of the most famous cheat codes one of the most popular was idk fa which would usually instantly give the player all keys armor items and more but the devs over at raven had already accounted for this when you try to use these same cheat codes in heretic all of your weapons and ammo get wiped out and replaced with a single stick and it gets even worse because <laughs> 
because the game just straight up says you don't deserve weapons anymore. Bruh. From being told off for using hacks to a character dedicated to yelling at you. And Mr. Rossetti. You'd never expect to have an NPC bust you for cheating. This is the one I was talking about earlier. The game without saving to go back to a previous save, undoing any mistakes they might have made. To prevent this, Nintendo created the character Resetti purely to lecture you about reverting the save. And each time you do it, he'll get more and more annoyed and his speeches will even get longer. But a mistake you won't be able to revert is cheating in the game Prey. During the treasure hunt side quest, there's a code you need to solve to unlock a special adventurer's toolkit. However, if you're lazy and decide to cheat by looking it up, you get a far worse- so, so wait, how do they know you looked it up? Is it is it only like a like a specific cheat or something like that 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 works? Like like is there is there a is there a code that's correct and then like a cheat cheat code or whatever? So when you look it up, you put that code in and it, it does the same thing, but then it like has adverse effects. That's the only way I feel like it would be. I feel like that's more of like an Easter egg like code for like people to post it online. Because there's no way people are gonna post it online and be like, yeah, this is the right code. And it's not going to give you the like the messed up thing First or whatever. Reward. Arcane made it so that if you skip the puzzle, you'll get the Game Master Iyers instead, which would super debuff all of your items, ruining the rest of your playthrough. And it's even more humiliating when you're exposed for cheating on your public profile. Uh -huh. Enter the cheat code in a desperate plea for help. <laughs> In the Superman's Return game, if you decided to activate cheats at any point, you would be granted with an Xbox achievement. Now, it sounds pretty great at first until you realize it gives you a zero gamer score with a description that says you needed a desperate plea for help. First of all, the fact that you have to put a cheat code in to 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 get all like to get infinite power or whatever, right? Or like I guess it gives you infinite power, right? Like you have to put a cheat code to be Superman in a Superman game. So they weaken you so much that you put in a cheat code to unlock the ability to just be Superman. Like, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But the absolute worst part is that it stayed on there for all your friends to see. And then they, and then they, and then they mock you about it. They put a cheat code in the game so that you can be actually Superman. And then they mock you about it. Like, that's not fair. Max Payne 3 also decided to embarrass you by ending your cheating in public servers and moving you to a lobby full of only hackers. Instead of using cheats to have an easy time, you would just be put against other hackers completely trolling everyone in the lobby. This that's, is actually- That's actually, that pro the, the crazy part is this lobby would probably be actually really fun to play in, but you would have to be a no good cheater to even play in it. Like <laughs> it would be really fun to play in because everybody's using cheats. Now everybody's probably coming back. They come back with cheats. And they're like, I gotta get go get better cheats. And they come back and they're like, oh, my cheats are better than your cheats. <laughs> like, Actually such fuck? a 200 IQ move by the devs. Even games like Fall Guys have taken inspiration from this with their own cheater island. And the Stanley Parable even has something similar. If you ever attempt to use server cheats within the command console, you'll be locked away in the serious room and lectured all about cheating and if you thought you could cheat your way out of there you'll only find yourself in a more serious room and gta even has a serious room if you're ever caught cheating or even being a bad sport you'll be sent into a dunce lobby here you'll find a bunch of others who do the same <laughs> and you'll be with a permanent dunce tag glued to your head until you regain that freedom games like undertale also have their own special ending for cheaters if you decided to use hacks to skip straight to the end credits you would be greeted by sans who is confused how you got here and says that it must have been an error. He even tells you that the devs might have added a unique ending just for this situation. He then calls you a dirty hacker, tells you to get out <laughs> from all the possible endings in the game. This has got to be one of my favorites. And that's 15 games.